Hello everyone, welcome back to Neutralix. I'm your host Coslix. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to play Spear in Brawlhalla for 2024. Spear is a very easy weapon, so watch this video if you want to become a master with it and reach Valhalla extremely easily, I promise. Just follow these tips. Let's get right into it. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to get better at Spear is to subscribe to Neutralix because we have so much content to help you improve at Brawlhalla. There's more than just this video. So subscribe if you wanna improve as quickly as possible and check out some personal coaching down below, teamneutralix.com. Again, link to that is down below. Okay, let's get into this guide for real. Uh, so go into training room, um, go to offline play, training, select your Spear Legend, go to Small Brawl. This is kind of the standard by now if you've been watching this channel. Uh, show damage on, show stun on, hitbox is on, hurtbox is on, item spawning off, switch the tab. Let's switch it to control mode for the bot, and this allows us to move the bot, put them in the center of the map. Then let's go to the bottom, damage reset on, position reset on, this just resets their damage and position. And then let's switch it back to the control mode for the player, and this will allow us to, you know, win some neutral, and then the bot resets. And this is where we're going to practice our combos and everything. Now let's quickly talk about all the attacks on Spear that you kind of need to know. Neutral Light, this is a poking tool. This is like a get away from me horizontally tool on the ground. Um, Side Light is your string starter. Um, this is for like conditioning and playing for reactions or going for a two dodge train follow up. We'll be talking about that later, um, but it's just a horizontal punish tool. Down Light is your combo starter. It's a diagonal punish tool. It's a little bit harder to hit than traditional combo starters in neutral because it obviously does not hit grounded. Um, but if people, let's say, are like empty hopping, so let's say someone's like jump fast falling and you just see them jumping a lot, you can like dash down light and catch them out. There are times to use down light in neutral. Um, next, let's talk about the uh, the recoveries and ground pounds and the aerial kit. Uh, so first, neutral air, this is the best move on spear in my opinion. If you need to win neutral, you go up stacked and you neutral air. You need a follow up, you neutral air. Uh, you don't know what to do, you neutral air. <laughs> this is kind of like a one tool for all. It's just like, like how big that hitbox is. That might be the biggest hitbox of any light attack in the game. I don't know for sure, um, but one solid circle is pretty damn crazy if you ask me. Um, so that's why it's so good. And then downer. This is a poking tool. Um, this is kind of like a vertical poking tool of a get back down there. Um, let's say you want to edge guard, you stay above your opponent and then you down air them. Um, you can do like a jump down there. Down air, which is amazing, is on hit, it sends you back up. So it keeps you in a position, even for like 2v2, to like keep edge guarding. It, it, it's a beautiful move. This move is so broken. Um, one thing you can do to just kind of get the hang of practicing down air, I did this back when I was in gold. See how many pogo sticks you can hit in a row. So watch this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen oh, okay you see what i mean so it's just a little fun practice tool kind of gets you good at movement gets you good at spacing and whatnot even though i screwed it up there and there because i'm kind of talking it's easier when you're focusing but this just gets you in the hang of the spacing for downlight i kind of like that as just like a little hand warmer on spear it's fun um, next is Sarah. This is your horizontal kill option. It can be a string starter. It goes to one frame and then it goes to one frame at six decks, I believe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Um, but it's a, like a one to two frame string. So if it happened, you know, you hit a falling Sarah neutral and they don't have a dodge, you go for a neutral light. Uh, it's just a little tight string, but not super viable at the top level because it is two dodge frames most of the time on most Spear Legends. Um, the last two moves are the recovery. You can kind of guess what you're going to use this for. If people are above you, your recovery. Um, if you need to get back to stage, your recovery. It's also slightly steerable. As you can see, I'm holding backwards. You move backwards with it. You hold forwards, you move forwards with it. Even if you start it without moving, you can kind of do that. So if you want to avoid a punish whatsoever, you can kind of just move while recovering slightly. Next is the ground pound. If people are below you and even slightly horizontal to you, you ground pound. This ground pound is not very fast, so try and use it more when people are close to you. You could even use a neutral really fast like this, um, but let's say you're pretty far away. Like, let's say you're up here and you ground pound. Good players are going to avoid that and they're going to punish it. Like, that, this is like too high up, if you know what I mean. Like, you can't rely on your opponent being bad to win with spear if you want to win every single time. Now let's talk about the strings and combo game on spear. 
So side light, as I talked about before, it's a string starter. It's kind of similar. Neutral light is also a string starter. Like you can neutral light into like, this is a dash cancel, just gives you some good positioning. Um, if you don't know about movements, then watch our movement guide. We have not made one for 2024 yet, but we will be making one very soon. Or check out the 2023 or movement tips videos, um, just knowing what a dash cancel is and whatnot. Um, but really side light and neutral light put you in a good position where you don't have any confirmed combos. The tightest you can probably get is side light down light, which you can get the two dodge frames if you time it properly, I believe. Um, I am just don't input this very often because it's not true. Um, I'll show you what's a bit better to go for than a side light down light, even though a lot of people in like gold, they'll probably go for this. I thought it was two frames. Maybe it's four now. Maybe they nerfed it a lot. I don't really know. All I know is it doesn't really matter. It's jumpable. It's dodgeable. I don't recommend going for it. Same with any follow-up set of neutral light. Like, you can go neutral light dash side light. That's like 11 frames. Like, that's not going to work, guys. If you want to win every single time, if your opponent can get out of something, go for a reaction. So the way to practice that is you can set the dodge to be random. And so, for instance, when you hit this neutral light, see what they do. They spot dodge, then we punish, right? You hit a side light, what do they do? Oh, they dodge down, then we punish. And you see what I'm trying to say here, right? You side light, what does he do? Okay, I didn't cover that properly. Side light, okay, cover that properly. So if you don't have a true combo, start practicing these reactions. You can kind of stand still. You can position yourself very nicely you can be empty hopping or whatever there's some dodges you won't be able to react to um but the point is is to kind of practice this kind of stuff uh really focus and you have to be it's just pure reaction time and decision making on like how you can cover it afterwards and then depending on what you get it will lead to things like true combos and whatnot where that's where like on spirit the real stuff happens and this same thing with playing for reactions it applies for anything that doesn't lead to anything confirmed. So if your opponent can get out of something, you play for reactions. And then if you know what reading is, um, you can go for reads, you can go for tempo. Um, if you want another video on how to combo like a god, then go search that up, how to combo like a god in Brahalla 2023. Again, subscribe to Neutralix because we have so much content to help you improve. And these videos all work together to make a perfect player. Um, but yeah, like you hit a neutral air, what do they do? Oh, we dodge the way. Some moves are going to send them really like much further away than others so that's kind of something to keep in mind like there is pretty far away i almost got that down there um but the key thing with side light and with neutral light is it positions you really close to them so you can get some key punishes if you play for reactions now let's talk about the actual true combos um so what we're gonna do is we are going to set our ai to be jumping this way they're just gonna be jumping and again down light is our combo starter so if we can hit a downlight, the first confirmed thing on downlight is downlight uh, side air. There's a lot of confirmed follow-ups to the downlight, but this is the one, like, if you're trying to kill horizontally, um, which a lot of the time you are, this is the first one I'd recommend learning. Um, it can be a bit hard the, the first time you're learning this ever. Um, let me show you how to input this as easy as possible. Okay, now you see my controller. Take a look at this. What I'm doing is I'm pressing jump and attack at the exact same time. See my A and B? I'm literally pressing both buttons with my thumb. So what you're going to want to do is down light, jump stare. And that's how you do the combo perfect. And do this until you get the combo 10 times in a row true. Until you can get this 10 times in a row true, like I'm messing it up there. Do this 10 times in a row. Like, look, I'm messing it up. So do this until you can hit this 10 times in a row true, then like don't go on to the next. Just keep practicing this 10 times in a row. Then let's talk about the next one. The next one, you can go down light neutral air. Um, I, do you have to chase? I don't go for this very often. Yeah, I don't recommend chase dodging towards. Yeah, there we go. So it's just down light and then like a jump neutral air. I don't go for this combo that much, nor do I really recommend it. Oh my God. I want to turn off the dodges. There we go. Yeah, like you definitely can go for this and can lead to stuff. I'm not gonna recommend it, but it is an important combo to learn for yourself. So down light, jump in there. And it's just, it's kind of a string starter, although it kind of puts them in a pretty bad spot for a spear. Like look how horizontal they are away from you, right? Like maybe you can go for like some read or something like that with a chase dodge after. Um, it's good that you know the combo, but this isn't a combo I'd necessarily go for. Um, the better option to go for, and this is actually both I, the best kill option, the best string starter on spear, is down light, jump, uh, recovery. No chase dodge. 
Just down light, jump recovery. And it's the same thing with the Sarah where you press both of them. You want to press both of them at the same time for jump recovery, but that's not really possible on controller. Uh, it, it's a bit difficult. So what you do is you slide your finger from jump to recovery and you do this as quickly as possible, um, but obviously accurately. And it's a little bit hard to time. This is probably the hardest combo in this video, um, but guys practice this until you can hit 10 times in a row true because on spear like this is a very very useful combo you can see i'm even messing it up and i i don't play that much spear but i know how to play spear when i need to so guys again do this 10 times in a row true i just did it three times four times you see what i mean like make sure you can hit this thing consistently and then i mess it up there if i'm really focused and not recording i could definitely get this 10 times in a row true within like 10 minutes max Maybe, maybe one minute, just being honest. I'm not trying to flex, but the point is really focus and make sure you can hit this combo. And let me show you why this combo is so important. It sets you up perfectly to like go for some crazy stuff on Spear. So for instance, you can like Nair and then go for another recovery. Like in white, you're like stacked with your opponent. So that's like perfect positioning where you can kind of react to no matter what your opponent does. And you can go for stuff like that. Let's say your opponent dodges down, for instance, okay? Let's say they dodge down. Let's say we hit side light, they dodge down, side light, down light, recovery, nair, recovery, and they're dead, right? Sure, they got their dodge back, so you have to get another dodge read, but that's like two dodge reads to death. That's not bad, guys. Um, so that's a really important combo to learn. Again, down light, um, jump recovery. There we go. And then you hit the nair, and then you can go for some other stuff. I'm not going to be teaching so much the other stuff because that other stuff is not what you need to even hit Valhalla. You can create your own zero to deaths and your own strings if you really want. Um, this is just one of them to show you going to the near to the recovery. But the main stuff is what are the moves good for? What are the true combos? How can we capitalize as best as possible? You go for the Sarah to kill horizontally. You go for the recovery to kind of go for a zero to death um, or to kill earlier. Here's a little fun fact on Spear. Let's say they are at 150 health. What do you do? Downlight Sarah or Downlight Recovery? Well, if you go for Downlight Sarah, that's not going to kill. But if you go for a Downlight Recovery, that's going to kill. So it really depends on positioning. Because at that same time, let's say the Asuri is here. Sure, you know, we'll go to 140. Let's say they're not jumping. And let's say they dodge. Oh, let's say they spot dodge. Side light, they spot dodge. That didn't kill, but let's see, side light, they spot dodge, that killed. So there's times where you're going to want to serve, and then there's other times you're going to want a recovery. It all depends on your positioning. If you're more horizontal, closer to a, you know, dead zone or, or kill zone, I mean, then uh, yeah, you're going to want to serve. If you're more towards the center of the map, I would go for a recovery. If you're trying to do team combos, I would go for the serve because a Sarah is easier for your teammate to follow up because it's horizontal. It's hard for them to, you know, recovery, get up there. doesn't make sense. Um, that's all the basic stuff that you really need to know on Spear. Now, let me show you how to play Spear. And I do recommend watching some movement guides and whatnot. Um, I'm just going to play an experimental game and just show you the general, like, flow of Spear. Um, dash canceling and holding grounded is very important on spear. I'd really like if you want to get good at spear, watch Impala and watch Stingray. They are the best spear players um, by far. You can watch Kaina as well, or not Kaina, um, Loris. Why am I stupid? Um, Loris is a really good Kaya player. So Impala, Stingray, Loris, these are all really good spear players. But really, any spear player in Valhalla, and like you can learn from the stuff that you guys need to get to Valhalla, and they all know. So, oh, this guy knows me. Nice. We're gonna play some spear. Let this guy get the weapon. And now we're in neutral. So we're gonna hold some ground control again. M lights that poking stick, and we want to go for reaction there. So what is he gonna do? He dodged, that was a bad nair from me. That was a bad reaction. That was a bad reaction. So that's something I can practice. If I'm not gonna hit those as well, like they're hard to hit at first, so maybe you're not gonna wanna go for them, but I got it there. And I also got the info. Hey, he dodged down like twice. So maybe he's going to dodge down again. All right, so we're going to keep that in mind for later. But we're neutral, we're neutral. Stacked, we Nair. I told you, Nair is like the best option on Spear. Sarah, because he was horizontal to me. Maybe Dare. That was a bad Dare. Okay, he's going to do that to himself, I guess. Um, 
I promise this guy's probably like diamond. <laughs> no dodge. Oh, I did forget one more thing, actually. I'm brain dead. I gotta show you guys the best actual, like, thing on Spear. <laughs> I'll show that after this game, actually. That's so, that's my bad. If you're watching until now and you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. Coslix, you're stupid. Um, uh, the people who know what I'm talking about. You know, this is, this is all part of the strategy. Also, yeah, the he had no dodge, so I went for a side light down light. Even though it wasn't true and he could probably jump out of it, I just went for it because it's a string. Um, that's more general tip, so that's not going to be spear specific. Um, but just knowing what leads into another. You guys already know side light leads into down light. Let's see what else happens. Boomerang. <laughs> Don't want Lance. It's not about Lance today. It's about spear. Okay, let's see what happens. Nair, because he's stacked. Nair, because he's stacked. Nair, because he's stacked. Tried to go for the recovery. Nair, because he's stacked. You see how broken Nair is? This is your best move in the game. No dodge. Kind of horizontal. I stared. Sarah's also an easier input than the recovery, so like if you know both are gonna kill, why wouldn't you go for the Sarah? Because it's more likely to land. That wasn't the true combo, but he wasn't dodging stuff earlier, so I went for it. Or he wasn't like jumping out of it. Side light, no dodge. Uh, that I shouldn't have went for the double D light, but that is what I'm gonna be talking about later. If they have no dodge, D light into D light is confirmed. So I'll be talking about that. No dodge. Almost got that in there. There, because he's below. Nair. Nair. Aw. Dodge cancel. Sarah horizontal. Yeah. That's the game. It's not like... Spear's not a hard weapon. There's only a couple combos you need to know. And like a couple strings. And then the rest is just neutral in game sense. And that's kind of about it. Let me show you the last thing on Spear that you guys need to know for this video. And I apologize for not showing you sooner. Because I forgot about it because it's so broken. So if your opponent waste a dodge and they don't touch on the ground so like if you guys don't know this already if you dodge in the air it takes three seconds to get your dodge back but if you dodge let's say in the air then you land on the ground you get it back a lot sooner it's like a second and a half to three seconds the grounded timer to get your dodge is way shorter than the aerial timer to get your dodge this theoretically gives more advantage to people who are grounded which is a good thing but let's say your opponent you know, let's say they have a bad habit. Let's say they're in 100 health, and let's say they spot dodge. So a lot of people spot dodge. You know, down light, gravity cancel down light into the sair or into the recovery. Actually game changing. So take a look at this one more time. Let's say they are in zero health. Let's say you go side light, they spot dodge, down light, down light, recovery, and then you could like nair into an exhaust recovery or something like that. Down light, down light, recovery. Ah, oh, I almost did it. Side light. You can even side light, down light, down light, recovery, nair, recovery. Pretty good option. Can't lie. So, again, if they've got no dodge and they didn't touch the ground, so they're not going to get it back anytime soon, you just, you know, down light and the gravity cancel down light is confirmed if they have no dodge. So, again, do that 10 times in a row. You don't need to get it frame perfect. You just need to get it, like, when it says two dodge frames. So, I guess it is frame perfect. Even if it says three dodge frames, um, they probably can't jump out of it. And the reason why is because of the positioning, right? Um, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So look at this. They actually try and jump out of this, but they still get caught anyways. And this is because even though they can get the jump out and they're on the first frames of jump, down light covers vertically. So it's going to cover the jump. So you can probably input this at like, you know, a frame late or something like that and you're probably still going to get it confirmed don't quote me on that um practice this combo make sure you can get it to like two dodge frames consistently that would be great um three is probably fine but yeah again 10 times in a row down light down light if they got no dodge and that is confirmed i didn't hit it in the last game but this can literally win you sets in tournaments and like win you guys ranked games and get you all to valhalla so that's everything in this video. That's everything you need to know to hit Valhalla on Spear. The rest is on you. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys later. Peace.